This is me. I study media production at a university college in Norway. And right now, I'm supposed to make a video where I talk about all these things. So here you go. Kyle, here's all the cool things about me. It all started back in 1996, when on a cold winter night, a snowflake was born. And that snowflake was my brother. Two years later, I came crawling out of the dumpster and joined the party. As I grew up, I read a lot of comics. Asterix and Oblix, Calvin and Hobbes, Donald Duck. I remember that my school used to take these trips to the local library, and my teacher always had to tell me to pick up a real book, because comics was apparently not good enough. I mean, I guess she was right considering how I ended up, but point is, I've always been a huge fan of comics. When it comes to movies, I've always loved animation, and especially those with animated animal people in them. You know, stuff like The Lion King, The Fox and the Hound, Over the Hedge, and of course, one of my all-time favorites, Madagascar 2. Eventually, I realized there was a community where other people also enjoyed these types of movies, and these people made themselves animal characters to represent themselves. So you, dear Kyle, may know me as Jonathan. But the name blessed upon me by thy divine celestial for of spirits was Foofy, and this is how I look like. I used this character to express both my own emotions and my creative ideas. However, I'm not the best at drawing, so I get other people to express them for me. You see, within the furry community there's an overflow of creative people, so finding someone I can pay to draw me isn't a very difficult thing to do. And since there are so many creative people, there are also tons of beautiful stories that you can find. You have Deadly Comics who creates incredibly beautiful animations, Jen makes majestic and fascinating comics, and you have people like Wojcicki, who documents his convention misadventures, among many other things. Some people say things like, Oh, of course, it's not fair to take over the world. You, you know, that's just your opinion. And this is just an incredibly tiny portion of the stuff that I've found. And they all bring so much positivity towards creating stuff and making art that it, you know, it fills me with passion and it makes me happy. So I guess that's why I'm still here, even though it's something I should have probably grown out of by the age of 12. Grit. How do I show grit? Well, I read an 800 page long furry comic in one sitting. That counts for something, right? No, you dimwitted fuck nugget. Grit is a personality trait based on an individual's perseverance or effort combined with the passion for a particular long-term goal or end state. What you are describing is a need for achievement, a drive to complete manageable goals that enable the individual to receive immediate feedback. Oh. My creative fears. What if I'm just wrong? About everything. That would suck, wouldn't it? So Kyle, that was me in a nutshell, I hope you learned something new. As for all of you who aren't Kyle, thank you so very much for watching, and if you liked it, feel free to click like and share it and stuff, and maybe even give a little subscribe though. I would like to give a huge thanks to all of our patrons, as your support helps us create content, like honestly, it makes everything a lot easier. So thank you. Again, that was everything, I'll see you in the next one, and I hope you have a great day, you lovely creature. Bye bye!